Hello, Ghostbusters ghost. What will you need? Card guard. What's that? Card board. What else? Hot glue gun. And is that it? No. What else will you need? Mask and tape. What's that? Mask and tape. Okay, okay. Anything else? Yeah. Like, like what? Taint. Taint? No. Taint. Is that all? I don't know! You're, you're obviously gonna need scissors to cut the cardboard. Is that it? Yep, pretty much. Oh yeah, and uh, Velcro. Velcro. Yeah, Velcro. Okay, so let's get, let's get started. Oh, and there might be some other stuff that I may have forgotten. <laughs> you know me. Alright, the first step to do is starting by uh, freehand drawing, like I did, or printing on computer the uh, basic gun. Doesn't have to be too good. Mine's a piece of crap, so. Then you want to take your cardboard and uh, trace the outline on it, not the same size, because obviously it's not going to fit on a piece of paper. You need to make it a good size, um, but don't do it all in one. I w I'm going to do it in pieces. So what I'm going to do is first do the, maybe the back handle, like this, the shoulder guard, or maybe the box thing first, so just cut out every piece, two sides to it, and then all the tops and curves of it, because you don't want to make layers and layers of a Tommy gun, you just, you want to make it at least this thick, like an inch thick, and you don't want to have layers an inch thick, that'd take like nine layers, that'd take us forever. So instead you just want to cut out the right pieces and then layer it and glue it together. Okay, so... Here's the box so far for the main frame of the gun. Then I'm gonna build the handle, the shoulder. I'm gonna build the shoulder piece first. Uh, the front, I forgot to mention, you're also gonna need um, PVC piping. It can be any size as long as it's like smaller than this or the same size. Like for instance, let's see if I have any here. Like this stuff, it's just a gun I made when I was bored, will probably do, but you want something a bit skinnier. So if you have something one size smaller than this, I do, um, that'll be great. So yeah, once you get all your pieces together, the next thing you want to do is organize it and glue it in the right spot. And then I'll show you the next step. So for the handle, I actually ended up layering it because instead of uh, doing the surface thing because it's that thick it's only three sheets because this is pretty thick cardboard so I just layered it it should go like this with the little thing anyways um so just keep layering it if you might have noticed I'm wearing a different shirt that's because I had to go upstairs to do the dishes uh and I accidentally spilled water all over my shirt so okay so this is the basic shape of the gun without the barrel thingy or the drum so for the drum you want to take some thin cardboard like this and also some thick cardboard. You're going to need two traces out of a plate on thick cardboard and then make the thickness of the uh, drum you want and use this stuff. Then somewhere on the drum put a piece of velcro, a piece of velcro, and then another piece of velcro in between these two handles where the drum will go. So yeah. So here's the tiny on this show you. I like this tripod because it can pretty much turn into a steady cam. Because it's uh just get off and show you. It's actually a fifteen dollar tripod. Got for Christmas. Um here's what it looks like. And all these legs extend, you just pull on them and twist them to lock them. And then, of course, there's a the little end thingy, which you just twist to put your camera on. And then there's a the little handle thing, so you can change the... Let's see if I can actually get a shot of... No, you can't get a shot of the tripod with the tripod on. And here's the Tommy gun so far. 
Uh, I ended up gluing the barrel on because it didn't work out too well. The Velcro, it just kept on wobbling. It's still wobbling, so I'm going to put a little tape on there to secure it. If you can figure out some Velcro methods or something that would work a little better, you can do that, but I just ended up gluing it on. So the next step to do is to uh, take some PVC piping the length of the barrel, cut it, and glue it. Okay, so here's the Tommy gun so far with the barrel thing. Now, just a reminder, I uh, layered this, because this one's only three layers of cardboard. Trigger's only layered three layers of cardboard. And then this second handle's only three layers of cardboard. Um, so I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's pretty awesome. It's actually really light. Uh, just a, You just need to paint it, and then you're pretty much done. So I'm just going to remind you, uh, this right here, box, black. Barrel, black. Drum, black. Right here, black. This little handle part, this is black, but right here is brown. Shoulder guard is brown. And then the second handle, all the way to here, is brown. So, that's basic color scheme. And if you want, hold on, where's my permanent marker? You can uh, take a permanent marker that's black, or if you have brown markers, you can just do a line of where the colors are, just to know, and then you can paint it. But, I'm going to try and do brown, because I got some new paints that my mom did, because she's a painter, she's an artist, but uh, right now she's working on a uh, pair of giant bronze hands, so I'll see if I can get some paint. Alright, bye. Okay, so here's the finished handle, and handle's brown, holder. Card is brown, and the front handle is brown, and the rest is black. So yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it, so I'm going to test it. Are you boys ready? Time to rock the house. Let's go. Oh yeah! Bulletproof vests. They're awesome. And they make a good dinner plate. 